Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jennifer. And in today's video, we're gonna focus on the striped sweater. This classic item is a look that is always chic and modern and put together. Now, in general, when I am looking to buy new clothes, I tend to shy away from patterns. And I do that because I know myself and I know I only like this particular pattern for one season and come next year, it's going to look dated for me. But the one pattern that has stood the test of time is the classic stripe. When I look at a striped sweater, I, it reminds me of all things French and all things Jackie Kennedy, and both of those things are not wrong. So I hope that you'll enjoy some of the styles that I'm going to show you today. I'm looking at several different price points and suggesting some ones that I find um, I really enjoy. And I'm also going to show you some different ways to style them so that you can get some ideas. If you like this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button, liking it, and leaving a comment. I would love to hear from you. Let's get to it. Now, I think one of the reasons why I like striped sweaters so much is because where I live, winter goes on seemingly forever. As a matter of fact, spring is somewhat of a myth. We have been known to have snowstorms right into late April, occasionally, it hurts me to say, even into early May. So when the calendar says spring, but the temperature outside said winter, I love the striped sweater because it makes it look a little less wintry Well, you can still stay warm. Now, the classic striped stripe sweater is in black and cream, and we often see this styled with black as the base color during fall and winter. And then in the springtime, we often see it reversed a little bit. So the styles I'm going to show you now, many of them I purchased in the fall or throughout the winter. So I have a lot of black and white sweaters, but I can assure you, I love them all, and they all serve a very important purpose. So this sweater is one of my personal favorites. I always feel good when I put this on. It has a very tight weave and it's very, very comfortable. It's not a very long sweater, so it only comes to just barely the top of your hip. But um, this particular one is purchased from H&M. And although I don't know if they have this exact one, they have something that is very similar. I almost think it's navy and cream rather than the black and cream that I'm showing here. The neckline is a mock neck on this one, which I really like because it comes up high, but not too high on your on your neck. It looks great styled here with um, leggings um, on the left. I have it styled in the faux leather leggings and on the right. It is styled with some split hem leggings and some cream colored booties. This next sweater is from Mango and it has a V neck and it comes down a little longer on your hip. I love this sweater styled with faux leather black leggings. I, always, I think it looks really cute together. And another way in which I really have enjoyed wearing this sweater is with this quilted jacket over the top of it. Uh, this jacket I got at H&M back in the fall. They don't have this exact one, but they have a similar one um, on their website now but I love it with these chunky boots. This is a great outfit if you just have to run some errands. Um, I always feel good in this sweater. It is also a very tight weave um, and it's, it's a great choice. Available at Mango. Now this sweater is a more recent purchase. I purchased it I think right around Christmas time. And although I didn't need it, I definitely love this, this sweater. It is a very unusual shape. Um, I had to go all the way down to an extra small for this one because H&M's sweaters have been so oversized this season and I don't have very long arms. And as you can see with the sleeves on this one, which is I think its defining feature, makes it very original and unique, they would easily be way too long um, on someone like me. So I went down to an extra small. It isn't definitely too big on me um, and it is a turtleneck. The basic um, base color of this is cream with a black stripe. I just love this bell sleeve. And this sweater has a really fun and modern shape to it. Though my most common way to wear this sweater is with a pair of uh, blue jeans kind of tucked a little in the front or with some black leather pants. I did just want to show you this more conservative look. I think it looks really nice with these cream dress pants. Now these pants do not actually have belt loops, but I really loved the way this belt 
kind of breaks up the color combination there. I have paired it with a pair of chunky black loafers in this. And this, this look it looks easy, casual, effortless, and very chic. There are a ton of black and white striped sweaters out there, but don't forget that there are other color combinations too. They can also look chic and lighten up your wardrobe quite a bit. I personally love the beige and cream colored sweater. And here are three more that I have really loved and gotten a lot of wear out of this year that take that striped look and change it up a little bit with a different color combination. Though it's hard to pick a favorite, I can definitely tell you that this sweater is probably one of my very favorite things to wear. I always feel good in this sweater. It is from Mango and I purchased it in the late fall. I just checked their website and they don't seem to have this color combination available at this time, but I'm almost positive that, that they're, they're gonna get it back in. It is so classic and so classy. It looks great with black bottoms, um, either leather or not. And I love this look on the right side with a little scarf tied around it that picks up on some of these colors. This little silk scarf was purchased uh, just recently at H&M, and I think it really changes the look quite a bit. Here are two ways to wear this beautiful sweater that I think really look very chic. In the first one, um, it is paired with a pair of soft beige knit dress pants from Ann Taylor. And these pants are have been a really great purchase for me. I strongly recommend them because they're super comfortable, but they're also very professional looking. I've paired them here with some white loafers for a look that is casual and understated, but very tasteful. I've also worn this sweater more often though with a pair of light colored jeans, half tucked in, half out, and with some white booties. Uh, this is a look that I wear a lot and it, it, I really think it looks great. Another way to get away from the classic black and cream Breton stripe is to shake it up a little bit with the color combinations. And here you have a beautiful camel sweater with a black stripe cutting through it. Um, this sweater is available at Loft and I purchased it in the fall. It has been a real, uh, a real useful item in my wardrobe. Um, you can wear it with sneakers and a trench coat as shown here, but my favorite way to wear it is just with some faux leather leggings and some black booties for a look that really always looks great. You really can find some affordable, classy looking striped sweaters on Amazon, and this one is a great example. Um, here you've taken that beige and white combination, so a little different than the previous one, but it's a very classy combination. This sweater has got buttons going down the sleeve, so I pulled my hair up so that you could see that little detail. It is soft and very comfortable knit, and I think it looks very classy. These two sweaters are also available on Amazon and are really terrific purchases. The first one is in the classic black and cream with a zipper front down there. It, it's really very, very comfortable, long enough to wear with leggings, but also um, really suitable for jeans and, and anything else. And on the right side, I really love this gray and cream stripe, which looks fantastic with these black leggings. And here is a look at these Amazon sweaters styled up. In the first one, we have the beige and cream colored sweater with those cream colored dress pants. It makes for a really beautiful look, especially if you pair it with some beige colored loafers. In the middle section, the gray and cream colored sweater really pops against some white jeans. Pair it with a tonal handbag and some gray booties for a very classy look. And in the far right, you can see the black and cream colored Amazon sweater styled with some beige, well, I would say maybe cream colored, wide leg, high-waisted pants, almost a culotte. And although you can't see it, I do have some um, black booties on underneath. This is a really tasteful look as well. And just a couple more pictures here to show you the versatility of that black and cream Amazon sweater paired um, in the first pick with the beige dress pants and the white loafers. And um, a, better, a better picture, I think, of that culotte uh, wide leg look in the next photo. 
So there you go. I hope you got some good ideas and maybe some good shopping options. As always, I will post links to the items that I've shown in this video in the description box below. Underneath this video, click on the word more, and then you're gonna to have to click one more time on the word more and the list will drop down and you will see as many links as I can find to help you if you're interested in purchasing any of these items. Um, thank you very much for watching today. I would love it if you hit the subscribe button or liked this video. Thanks again, we'll see you next time.